Hey guys, what's up? It's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do an everyday makeup look using JD Beauty products. And this is actually really funny that I'm doing this video today because um, I think like last week, maybe the week before, I posted a video of me doing a JD Fit in JD Beauty haul. And today, like an hour ago, they saw my video and they commented on it. And like, I, I still can't believe that that happened. Like, holy crap. Like, I don't think they're going to see this. But if you guys are watching this, thank you so much. Like, you guys made my day. You don't even understand. But, yeah, so I still can't believe that that happened, and now I'm making this video today. But I posted about it on my story last night, and JD Fit and the JD Beauty accounts both saw it, and then Josh saw it today. So I think that's how, and then he must have, like, showed Katie or something, and they watched it. And I was just like, oh my god, I can't believe they watched that. But, yeah, so that happened. So now I'm going to be showing you guys how... I do an everyday makeup look using their JD Beauty products. You saw this in that other video, but I have the Heartbreaker Highlighter, the Boss Gloss, the Babe Matte Lipstick, the Revenge Palette, and their Batty Mascara. And since their products are just the mascara, highlighter, lipstick, and eyeshadow, I'm gonna just do all my other makeup that I normally do first real quick, and then I'll show you guys how I do that since this is um, specifically for how I do JD Beauty makeup. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, comment down below with your Instagram for a shout out, and don't forget to check out my old videos. I have some pretty good videos before this one, so go make sure you check them out and give them a like. Put on your post notifications. I post on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 5 p.m. So yeah, make sure you have your notifications on so you don't miss a video. Yeah, let's get started with this video. So I already did some concealer and foundation before this because I'm like I'm like breaking out from these face cover these face masks that we have to wear going out all the time. It's honestly so annoying. Like yeah, I, I know why we have to do it. I'm not complaining about that. Like it is to help keep people safe and healthy, which like I'm all for. I'm just like over it, you know. Because it's been like how long? March, April, May. It's been like over two months of this. Like I'm just ready for this to be done so that my face can be happy again because I got like a whole bunch of it's going around right here because of these stupid face masks. But anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna finish doing my normal makeup and then I will show you guys how I use my JD Beauty stuff. Okay, so now that I have my eyebrows and everything done, I'm going to show you guys first how I use the, the Revenge eyeshadow palette. And I know I kind of look crazy right now with just my eyebrows done and not mascara, but hang on, we'll get there. Okay, so we're using the JD Beauty Revenge eyeshadow palette. Okay, so these are the colors. They're really good for like everyday look. And like, there you go. For like an everyday look. And a lot of them are like sparkly too, which is really nice. So what I like to do is I like to use like this one, whatever is lighter on the inside sorry it's like focusing on my face i like to use this one here on the inside of my eyelid and then this all the way in the crease where um like right here is where i'll put that and then we'll probably do like this guy out here to get that um more of a smoky eye look or actually we're, we're gonna use this we're, so we're gonna go with this one and then this one and then this one start with this one first and I'm using my um, screen to do this as my mirror, so that's why I'm looking over here. <laughs> and then you want to blend it towards the outside a little bit too, but not all the way, so that you can like blend in the next color. 
and then we'll go over here. I always like to do less first, and then if it doesn't come up dark enough, you just add some more. Because it's a pain when you like do way too much, then you have to take it off. Because then it ends up taking off like your other makeup, like your foundation and stuff. Sorry if my face looks super weird at this angle. I'm like using this as a mirror, so it's hard. Okay, and then we're gonna go with this one that I told you guys about for the outside. So we'll get it right above the eyelid, all the way at the end. And then I'll also blend it up in the crease a little bit. Don't want it to be too, too dark. Sorry if this doesn't look that good. I normally use like a real mirror when I'm doing this. This is like really hard to see with my camera's screen. <laughs> you know, still doing quality makeup. I'm gonna do a little bit more on the outside. And then just make sure you blend it in towards the middle too. And right above your eyelashes. So that there's not like a gap there. And there you go. Now we're gonna go with that same color on this side. Right on the outside and up in the crease, like I said, a little bit. And then blend it into the middle. I kind of put a lot on this one, but. And there you have it. If they're a little uneven, it's because I can barely see what I'm doing with this mirror, so. I think this one's a little lighter, so we're gonna add a little more. Okay, and then we're gonna do that lighter color that I said. I'm gonna use a different brush. I'm gonna use a smaller tipped one to do that right on the inside. Dab it in like that. And then I'm gonna do it right in here, like going up from this crease. A little bit more and blend it up a little bit and get it right in that crease and blend it up towards the middle a little bit and there we go and now we are done with our revenge palette super cute now we're gonna go to the baddie mascara but first I'm gonna just use my Tarte eyelash curler and curl my eyelashes this mascara is so nice because one it smells really good I don't know how they do that but it smells amazing and it's waterproof and um, a lot of waterproof mascaras take forever to wash off, but this actually comes off like really well and it also stays on, so it's like a win-win. Again, I apologize for this angle because I'm using my screen to do this. <laughs> it smells like green apples. It smells so good. And then I'll just use a Q-tip and like go under if I like get any under my eyelash. And now we'll do the other eye. It honestly smells so good. I don't know how they do this. I've never had mascara that like smelled good. Like most of them don't smell like anything, you know? Or it's like kind of a weird smell. Okay, so that is the Batty Mascara. I'm just gonna fix this part right here. But also, can we just appreciate how freaking adorable the container is like it's so sparkly and it's like focusing there we go it's so sparkly like just wow just wow that's all i have to say about that okay next we have the heartbreaker highlighter it is so cute and oh look at that i've already showed you guys this in that other video but in case you didn't see it let me just show you again the beauty Ooh. So we're gonna use our highlighter brush and just like dab it like that. You don't wanna like jam it in, you just wanna fluff it up almost. And then you go across your cheekbone and brush it on like that. You don't need a lot of this because it does come up really easily. Like you can already see it here. And Normally in cameras, it's even hard to see highlighter and you can still see this. So just do a little bit. So that's the highlighter. And then we have the Boss Gloss and the Babe Matte Lipstick. I think we're gonna go with the Babe Matte Lipstick for today. I normally don't really ever wear lipstick or anything, but this is such a pretty color and it's very subtle that I'm gonna use it. And I love the container too. Like all of their products are so unique and how the, the shape that they come in and everything. So, I mean, I don't really, I think I need to explain to y'all how to put this on. You kind of just like put it on, you know? Rub it around. With this type of lipstick, 
you can do what I'm doing now and just rub it around and then use like a q-tip if anything like gets outside of it but like it's literally fine like nothing is in the wrong spot here I'll normally just line my lips like that but yeah it looks good like that this is like I also love this because you can do that and you don't it doesn't have to be perfect like a lot of lipsticks if you do that and it gets on the outsides it like stains it instantly but this like it just goes right where you want it to go like I don't even know how to explain it but it's just so amazing this should be my thumbnail no, just kidding. Yeah, I think that's everything I had for you guys today. That was all the JD Beauty products that um, that I have that I wanted to go over with you guys and show you how I use them for my everyday looks. And so you guys should definitely go check them out. And also, please go subscribe to their channel, JD Vlogs. They're amazing. Like I said earlier, I still can't believe that they commented on my video. Like, like they're just such amazing people. So go check out their channel. You will love them. No matter who you are, you will love them. And I hope you guys found this video useful. If you had any questions about JD Beauty makeup, or if you didn't know what colors to use for the eyeshadow, I hope that helped you out a little bit. And yeah, with that being said, now it's time to go to shoutouts. So today... Oh, we just have a new subscriber like right now, so I'll give her a shoutout. <laughs> um, where are we? Okay, so the first shoutout is to... At Dakota Lane underscore sketches. I will put it up here. Go follow that account. She um, She's one of my friends and she makes um, these really cool sketches. And I think she sells them now too, which is awesome. And they're so good. She's so talented. So make sure you go check that out. Also, just follow her main account. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but I'll put it here. I think it's just Dakota Kilgariff. Well, it'll be up here. Um, the next shout out is to at Heaven Vlogs. That's her YouTube channel, and her Instagram account is at heaven underscore Voigt. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but go check those out. And then we have Sarah Creighton. That's her YouTube account, so go check her out too. And yeah, I think that's all the shoutouts for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new and maybe inspired you to go check out JD Beauty Makeup and buy some of their products because I really love them. Definitely recommend all of it. And yeah, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, comment down below with your Instagram if you want a shout out like I just did for those people. And don't forget to check out my old videos, turn on your post notifications, and while you're at it, follow me on Instagram at emilyhughes.underscore. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Just